Hello, I'm Mary Helen Roberts, State Representative from the 21st Legislative District. The state legislature has reached what I consider the beginning of the end. We have about two and a half more weeks to go, and we are approaching probably the most difficult challenges, and that is of adopting a budget for the next two years for the biennium. This is the state's budget proposal. A lot of paper, a lot of dollars. But because of the current deficit in our revenue, which is now almost $9 billion, what this represents is a lot of tough decisions and mostly cuts. There are few programs that will see any new dollars, very few programs that will be expanded or new ideas being funded. What concerns me is that some of the things that I consider really sort of the heart of what state government is able to do are also facing cuts. Education is our primary responsibility here and cuts will end up costing us about three to four thousand classroom teachers. That means classrooms be, will be a little more crowded. Um, there won't be the kind of teacher training that we have done in the past. Um, not what, what I would hope for. We are also making major cuts in our health care programs. There is a program called the Basic Health Plan, you may be familiar with that, that provides health care coverage on a sliding fee scale based on a family's ability to pay. There are now 14,000 people on a waiting list to join the Basic Health Plan, and yet this budget will have us cut 40,000 people who are already on the program. Parks is something we have talked a lot about, and we've actually decided to try and take a new approach to funding the parks. And so the House budget doesn't propose closing any parks, but will ask individuals whether or not they want to put $5 when they renew their motor license tabs, their car tabs, um, into the park fund, and it will be an opt-out approach, which means you have to say, no, I don't want to put $5 into funding parks. Also, higher education is an area where we expect to take cuts, um, and we are at the moment proposing a little over $700 million. Now, in our district, we have Ed, um, Edmonds Community College, and the community colleges will be facing over $200 million. That means that that open door policy that has been so important for access to um, a two-year or special certificate kind of education, that door just won't be quite so wide open. There will be fewer um, courses, and of course some faculty will lose um, their positions. What are we going to do about this? One option is, of course, just to adopt this budget, which we will have to do, but other options include looking at new revenue sources. And we can't um, really do much before the legislature adjourns because of what has been um, adopted by the voters with regard to tax increases, but we can come up with ideas about what we will ask the voters to approve because you have to approve any increase of any significance. The sales tax is one area where we could increase revenue, but we have added to the sales tax over the last few years and a lot of people feel that it has pretty much reached the max. We have added um, small percentages to improve our transportation system, to meet needs of local and state government. Also, years ago, we um, cut significantly the revenue that was brought in through what's called the motor vehicle excise tax, and that was your car tabs. But a lot of people don't realize that that tax was providing a significant amount of funding for our public health system. Also, we are the only state in the union that has a B&O tax. That's a tax on our businesses, but it is particularly 
um, demanding on our small businesses. While that's an area we could increase taxes, it's one that I would oppose very strongly, just because I've never thought it was a very good tax to begin with. And also, we're looking for bus to businesses to help improve the economic climate that will generate um, the dollars that our, that our budget um, relies so much on. I guess I also want to just back up in, in the discussion of taxes and emphasize, which you may already know, that part of why we have this deficit is because we as a state rely so heavily on our sales taxes and the business taxes to keep the budget in balance. And when the economy is in trouble like it is today, the revenue that's coming in um, drops significantly. The last area that generates an amazing range of emotional reactions that we could explore is an income tax. Some people are looking at um, a significantly high income tax so that only those individuals who have an annual income of at least $500,000 would pay this tax. Or we could look at something that is more um, gradual, um, different levels of income with different percentages similar to the federal income tax. We could look at something that's a flat percentage of the federal income tax. But all of these um, are just ideas. They are just part of the conversation. And your voice in the conversation makes a big difference because you are the people that will ultimately have to approve of any of these proposals. The way the legislature might do this is that we would pass a referendum to the people saying, would you approve this increase in your tax? This budget tax ideas are available on the website um, that is leap.ledge.wa.gov, and that will be on the screen at the end of this presentation. Also, again, we will place my email address so that if you have additional ideas to communicate particular thoughts or opinions, please feel free to be in touch with me. I appreciate your taking the time to listen to this kind of message. A democracy demands that we all be involved, and your voice really does make a difference to me. So thank you very much. I'm Mary Helen Roberts, your representative.